all right guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of our rpg uh series uh, tutorial series uh, i'm planning to be releasing the next devlog one this weekend as well so you can be expecting that as well if i haven't already released it at this point um so in this episode it's going to be shorter than the previous one way shorter than the previous one so what we want to do today is pretty simple so if you see right now we hit play um what we have here is uh, our character moving around but nothing else nothing else so our character is able to move around but that's it uh, the camera doesn't follow the player so what we're trying to do in this episode is to make the camera follow the player so the way we're going to do this is very simple we're not going to script it because uh, unity has got a very neat tool that we will be using a lot in this series so we might as well uh, begin using it right now just expand our working space here and just change the number of tiles that we have to like well by um, well all right so what we're going to be using is a tool called Cine Machine. So Cine Machine is something that we're going to use a lot when I get to a point where I want us to look at uh, cutscenes. It was an RPG. What RPG did not have cutscenes? We're going to have to look into that as well. We're going to have to look into so many things. So what we're going to use the Cine Machine as a way of following our player. It's very simple. No code involved in this episode. We will be back to coding in the next one when we have to bring in uh, an actual character because I think it's getting boring to look at, to keep looking at uh, the capsule. So in the next episode, we're definitely going to be bringing in an actual humanoid character that we're going to animate as we uh, move around. Okay, so that's the that will be the next thing. But for this episode, let's just concentrate on uh, using Cine Machine to follow our character so once you have your editor open like this we're gonna go back to the package manager and then you're going to search at the top here uh, remember we are still in the unity registry we haven't yet touched my assets so we're still in the unity registry so at the top here select unity registry then search for cinema machine so here where it says remove for me for you guys it's gonna say uh, install so hit install, no need to restart your, your, your edit after that. Once you've installed Cine Machine, what we now need to do is to make this camera here start on, uh, following our player using Cine Machine. So the way Cine Machine works is that it has got what we call a Cine Machine brain. So as soon as you insert any Cine Machine cameras, your camera will be given a Cine Machine brain, which means it will follow those Cine Machine uh, cameras. So in the case of following our player, we're going to right click here or add the component. So whichever one, so right click or add from up there. So I prefer right click because it's shorter. So we'll right click there, then we'll go to Cine Machine. Okay. Then we're going to look for what, for the free look camera. That's the one we're going to be using to follow our player around. So we're going to look for this free look camera. I'm going to select that. Right now we can see it's looking somewhere else. Not to worry about that. So what we're going to give it is our follow. So for our follow, um, I that. Okay. so this is our cinema machine camera. And then what we're going to give it is, um, is the follow. So we're going to get our player and here where it says follow on the on the right side of our free look camera where it says follow here i'm going to snap the player and on the scene view there you can see those red um lines appearing around our player so those are the rigs so for our cinema machine camera we've got three rigs with the bottom rig middle rig and top rig which are these down here so you can see you can see that we'll get to that in a minute but first things first we have that 
then we also needed to look at our player. So we're going to drag the player again. And where it says look at there, we're going to put our player there. And it's looking direct at our player. Now, in the case of our capsule, which when we select, you can see that the, the look at position is very correct where we want it to be, right in the middle. But in the case of a 3D model, when we bring in a 3D model, the look at might be down there at the base of the, of the model. So it might be right at the base down there. In that case, we will uh, create a new look at which we'll just attach to our player. But for now, we'll get to that when we bring in a model. For now, what we're going to do is just to leave it because it's actually working very nicely like that, as we can see from uh, this view here. So now once we come to our to our rigs here. So before we actually do that, let's go through some things. So this is the access control. So what this is, let me hit play and show you. So you can see that the uh, Y axis is um, not inverted, while the X axis is uh, inverted. So this is what that is. So when we scroll that way and we scroll that way. So if you want it to work like that, that is fine. So you can see that move it's following a player like that and our player uh, follows the rotation of the camera so turn to the rotation of the camera which is something that we did in the previous episode in our script but as you can see right now it's a bit too close to the player not very good okay so that's the in, uh, that's uh, the invert so we're going I like to do it the other way I'm gonna invert that and invert that um, you can do it whichever way you feel like. It doesn't really matter. It's preference. Then we've got um, the orbits here. So if we uh, say world space, and then we hit play, and let's that's under the binding mode. Okay, it still works, and um, our character is you uh, able to the camera is still rotating best our character is rotating I mean based on the camera's rotation so we're gonna keep it at world space good. I like that better so we're gonna keep it at world space then we're going to look at this we'll see we right now we'll put our camera really close to our, um, to our character so we're gonna change some of these here so like uh, we're going to make this let's make this uh, um, five Give us a bit of distance, four and seven. And then we're going to come so we can look at which rig we're looking at. That's our bottom rig. That's, that's how close as we're going to get to our player. So when we when we add there was something that we're going to add. Uh, when we put, for instance, um, objects in the scene, and we do not want our camera to clip through them, so our camera will make it will force it to come forward and this is as close as it's going to get and this would be the normal bottom rig and this is the top rig that's how we'll be viewing them so those are the three different rigs let's put it back in the middle rig then there is one more thing so let's just do something here let's create a 3d object a cube so that i demonstrate this because i was just from talking about it and let's just place the cube right there and then scale it up like that okay so this is our tree for instance let's duplicate it and uh, bring it um, oh. oh my goodness let me just get this then bring it that way Control the D bring it forward as well so currently if we hit play what you will see is that when we when we come here, you can see that when the objects are right there, the camera goes through them, it clips through them, and we don't want that. We don't want that. So instead, what we're going to do is on the free look camera again, we're going to come down here where it says add extensions. So we're going to hold that. Let's just hold that. Then we're going to select the cinema machine uh, collider like that. 
So I'm going to leave that as default and everything there. So the strategy here, we're going to tell it to pull the camera forward. So remember when I said that it will bring it to the bottom rig, that's what we're trying to do here. So I want it to bring it to the bottom rig. And then the distance, we don't want to get too close to the player. So I'm gonna go with 0.5, we'll see how it works out. Then we're going to give it some damping so that it's smoother. So I'll put it at one, and also at one. And then the smooth time, I'll put it at 0.25. So this damping will make the transition from the current view to the newer view when we put objects um, around smoother. So let's see. Let's hit play here. Okay, so we have that and you can see that it is smoother. It's not snapping into it. But when we get to, you see that? When we get to too close to the player, rather than it sticking there, it gets closer to the player, it draws the camera in. So if you left it without damping, it would just snap. Uh, let me just show you how that looks like so that you can make a decision on your own on which you want to go with. So let's just turn that zero, zero, let's turn that to zero. We could also just reduce the smooth time so that it's quicker. So if we look at that and if we go in, um, you see that, you didn't even see it transition. It just snaps. See that? It just snaps. See that? It just snaps like that. So we're there, go around it, and it snaps. So if you want it to be snapping like that, you can go with that. But I think having it just go closer to the player uh, is better. So let's just make this at 0 0.5. The damping at 0.5. So it's not too slow and it's not too quick. And then I'll make this at uh, point, uh, the way it is. So we'll make the damping just a bit shorter. But let it just be there like that. It's a bit that's better rather than it just snapping. So this is not how the environment is going to be, of course, the, but this is better. It gets closer to the player like that. So that's our camera um, controller done. We're not going to script anything on it. It's good the way it is, it works. Um, we thank Unity for that. We don't want to do a lot of uh, coding right now. With so much that we're going to code, but this works just fine. What we're going to do is uh, we're going to rename it. Uh, this free look camera, we're going to rename it and say Player Camera. Okay. And then we're going to create a new empty object and say um, let's say MC for main character then we will actually zero this out as well zero it, zero it out that then we'll drag our player and our player camera into MC for main character like that so we have the whole thing as one. So in case we want to create a prefab of it, we don't have to create different prefabs. So there it still works the same. We're still able to move around. And our camera still dictates uh, where we look and where we turn. And uh, everything still works the same, which is brilliant. All right. So this is where we're going to end this one. It's been a very short one. We've done exactly what we wanted to do. Have a camera controller. If you enjoyed this episode leave a like comment subscribe to the channel um i appreciate all the support that you guys have been showing to the series so far if you've got questions just leave them down in the comment section i'll do my best to answer each and every one of them and yeah thank you very much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one as we bring in our third person character all right bye bye